Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we're here for the qualifier weekend. Uh, we are going to be playing in the Mythic Invitational Qualifier. Um, we got here by finishing top 1200 the past months, and in particular this one I qualified for going day two in the last month's tournament. Um, so basically what you want to try to do is get to seven wins prior to getting to uh, three losses. If you do, you get to qualify for day two. To which if you get six or seven wins you qualify for the mythic invitational uh, championship where there's like 250k in prizes so it's some pretty high stakes magic it's really fun but also very stressful uh, i was pretty heavy on like the gruel decks but i haven't been doing well with them the last few days so i made a last minute pivot to rakdos arcanist um i, I think i just want to be on a thought seize claim deck right now um but basically what we try to do with this deck is self-mill into Croxa and then recycle spells with Dreadhorde Arcanist. You have a lot of cheap spells. Uh, you have a claim package with Claim the Firstborn and either Spark Harvest or Village Rights to steal your opponent's creatures and get value out of it. You also have Claim Fame that allows you to bring back things from your graveyard, give them haste, and then kind of like a spells package with Young Pyromancer. Uh, so this is pretty much Samsoni 1's list. Um, I made a couple changes. Uh, so I made it a little less impacted post board against graveyard hate i'm playing one of knight of the even legion main and then uh two scourge of the skyclaves i have a couple more copies of noxious grasp and went down on the witch's vengeance just because we haven't been seeing as much goblins um might be wrong in this tournament we might run into it because it is more of a high roll deck um but pretty much you got a bunch of removal in the deck to hate out things and then you uh try to drop croxa so we'll play, see how it goes. Let's lock in our selection here. Yep, we submitted. Um, so generally speaking, during these tournaments, I will take breaks in between. Um, I'm probably going to be speaking a little less than my normal commentary. And then it'll be more kind of just thought provoking. Like I got to think through my lines a little bit more is what I mean. But otherwise, hope you're doing well. We will be doing some Kaldime decks. Boz87, what you got? So, not doing well already, being on the draw. So your best hands are usually like if you could Thought Seize, Dreadhorde Arcanist, Thought Seize them again. Kind of break up their hand. Uh, if your opponent mulligans, you do have a pretty good kind of game plan. Okay, so this is Sacrifice most likely. We'll keep this. In either case, like push Arcanist is good. Okay, so I think I want to Thought Seize here and get rid of the Priest. They can go Dreadhorde, that's fine. I do think we need to set up this here because Priest guarantees that they can then play Priest this turn and the next turn play the Cat. Okay, since we got the second Arcanist, I'm fine with doing this line. We can block here, it's and then um, <clears throat> fatal push, like two of their threats. Can also thought seize them again if needed. If they have the oven, then they gotta sack this. Okay, they go cat. Young Pyromancer is actually a really good draw there. So here, I think we just take the cats off the battlefield. <clears throat> uh, there is a notion to thought sees here, but I'm already at 10. Actually, I don't think I mind thought seizing here double land that hurts my thought was keeping the fatal push for something more impactful than another cat 
I can block here on the Dread Horde. Next turn, I can Croxa. If we get. Yeah, well, Strider is kind of annoying here. That's what we are trying to hit. So they can attack in, I'll block. They can sack this and kill. I just want to keep this off three. A claim would be good. Knight of Eben's not bad. So I can attack here. Don't particularly want to attack. I don't have like the best fatal push targets because they just sack whatever and then I lose my Arcanist to this bow strider. Which might not be bad. Actually, this works. Because this triggers revolt. So then I can hit the low strider on attack. Okay, saw the line. So we need like a stitcher supplier or something. So let's kill the cat here. Oh, no, 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 no. No! 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 I was supposed to hit the Woe Strider. Damn it! That was a punt. That was a punt. Ah! Damn it. I messed that up. Ah! Uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, I messed that up. I spoke it in my head and... Ah. Uh, we were supposed to have this Woe Strider off the table and not lose the Arcanist. And now I have to double down by hitting. That was dumb. They topped, so it's probably either a Oven, a Claim, or a Devil. Could be a Coco. Ah, uh, no. I, I messed that up. Ah. Uh, how you doing, Alex? That was a misplay. Oh, I'm mad with myself. Did it snow again over there? So I'm gonna do this if they want. They can sack it and kill it, but it gets this dread horde off. I don't really have anything going right now in the graveyard. That's actually annoying. Ah, uh, we would have been in a good spot. I think they just go face here. I'll probably take the Arcanist off, like two to the face. Take the Arcanist. Village rates kind of screws us up now. I have Spark Harvest. So I lose one here, but I can't really do anything about it. I 
need to take this off the battlefield. It presents more of an immediate threat. So I'm going to see... What they... Okay, they top... Hey Vanian, how's it going? I screwed up this game. Claim like playing this out is just not mana efficient. Luris. No worries. They go Chingantha to hand. I could claim Arcanist. I can play Luris. They only have the one card in hand, so I actually don't mind the line. Go like this. Because if they draw a land, they play Chingantha, and I'm not really doing anything with Jengantha. They attack like this, then I do need to trade my Luris. Yeah, I'm thinking Claim Crocs is the right line. Get this out of their hand. Like this, if they just attack with Woe Strider, I block the Woe Strider. If they attack with both, then I block the Cauldron Familiar. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, if you have some ideas and stuff, I've been working on some deck lists. Um, but drop me a note, or like on any of my YouTube videos, anything like that. Can this opponent stop topping like a freaking boss? Um, any deck lists or stuff you have, or if you're in the Discord, even just uh, we'll chat there. I got a couple deck lists. I got elves and giants figured out, and then some other ones. I'm just waiting for cards to be finalized. There's an angel deck somewhere there, but the cards are coming out slowly. Well, that's annoying. I mean, this means they can't attack. Um, so I can escape Croxa, but it just keeps getting chump blocked. I attack here, they have to block. They could trade, but then I just do Croxa anyways, so they need to decide. Just escaping here. I think we're dead anyways. They get the cat back that drains for one. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm like I said, I'm usually a lot more talkative with chat. I'm just trying to focus. I already punted like not killing the Woe Strider earlier. Dreadhorde right kills me. Yep. This dies, they sack the cat, bring it back. Ah! Okay, push. A braid, soul guide. That was bad on my end. 
Um, Pyromancers come out. They went first. But I, I had a line where I was supposed to fatal push it and I mistakenly targeted the wrong creature. That was on me. Uh, I think we're cutting a spark harvest here. It's not as good. The scourges are interesting, but a bit of a liability. So is Kroxa. Mm. So I can go Supplier, I can go I have the Knight to win, I have Kroxas. Maybe trim a claim, play a Pyromancer. Crocs is still decent in some numbers. I just don't like these Spark Harvests, they end up hurting me more. That's annoying because like how their their draw played out, we would have been fine because they wouldn't have been able with the murderous rider to sack anything, and that would have kept their life total higher. We wouldn't have had to lose both our tokens. Okay, well we have the claim village rights pairing, which is nice. Try to use that for like priest or something. They have oven, they have cats. So I think I just want to get Arcanist going here. Okay, Dreadhorde. It's actually pretty good. Because here I could claim double thought sees them. Okay. We're going to get rid of the Clothis. We're going to get rid of the Collected Company, I think. Or the Midnight Reaper. The Midnight Reaper gets rid of their play right now. So I think that's fine. Because depending on how they play out their turn, I can get this to potentially hit their uh, collected company. Stitcher's good as well. Gives me some more gas. Worst case, I just get to uh, village rights my own Stitcher. Um, here, let's start off with this. So I can claim, I have village rights. Hmm. I think we need to do this. See if I can draw like a fatal push. Well, Fatal Push and a Braid are there. I can get rid of both cards in their library. In their hand. I take two points of damage. Let me see if they get rid of the Coco. Okay, they do.
So they get rid of the Coco. So I have a choice here. I could claim back Dreadhorde Arcanist. Um, and then that lets it have haste. I have another land. I can get Croxa this turn, but then I can't get back my Dreadhorde. I think we're just getting back Dreadhorde here. And then hope they don't draw a Sack Outlet. Worst case, I escape Croxa next turn. I can play Fame on this to play a Braid. So let's go a Braid here. Kill the devil. Play out another Croxa. Uh, play the land tapped. And the next turn I can uh, Croxa uh, and claim it. Okay. Recovering here. One, two, three, four. So we get a card out of their hand. That should be lethal. Okay. Got him. Good recovery. Good recovery. Um. Do I maybe want cling to dust? Cling to dust hits the, could potentially hit the cat, can gain me some life in this matchup. All right, let's run it back. They get to go on the play. I don't love having to hit myself for three. I think we keep this. Shit. We didn't see that the last two games. Well, that makes our hand a lot worse. Mm. So I need to go a two drop creature here. If they go Woe Strider, it feels pretty bad. I can't play out both just based on how our lands are. So I can go Croxa, get a card out of their hand. I can go Dreadhorde Arcanist, because my plan is to use the Priest as a sack outlet. Um, so I think our play has to be this, because next turn I can claim this. Yeah, I gotta do some stuff. Hey, Patty Cakes. It's going well. I punted game one. Now we're in kind of an awkward spot. 
they got the ley line down which hurts against us okay so let's start off with seeing what's here oh, they are not in a good spot which is nice I still want to use this to our advantage Play that. I can hold it up for Woe Strider. I want to use that for more value. I think we just passed the turn. So my thoughts here, depending on what they play out, I can abrade this in response. So I can steal this. I think we're just abrading here. Okay, I can double Croxa. So I think what we're doing is this. I didn't bring in Feed the Swarm. kind of messes up their their play I can do this but I only get two mana so I don't have enough to bring it into play I want to do this when I can get one more creature so I think we're just bringing Luris to hand it's a 3-2 I can play it off the mana next turn Link to dust is not bad. I want to hold this right now, just because we only get really one shot with it. Okay, cool. Now we can do some stuff. So go to my turn. Okay, so we're going to start with claiming this. Go to full control. Activate, target both players. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Sacrifice their priest. They'll get a card draw here. They lose it. think here I want to just take a draw here okay that's not bad I can draw more cards if needed I can do it with the Croxa. Our hand would have been great if they didn't have Ley Line out, but... Jeez, that's a lot of lines. So 
So they need like company into. Got him. Who that. Can we stop playing against this deck, please? Probably go Pyromancer here. Pyromancer lets me Thought Seize and then use the Spark Harvest on something if needed. Ah, oh, they have the Sack. How are you sacking? You have the Oven? Ah, oh, you have Tower. That's probably worse. It's basically free mana. They have Woe. Okay, second Pyromancer is not bad. Mana's a bit awkward. Wish this was an untapped blind. Um, so I can just do this, get Pyromancer. I could Thought Seize them. I think I want to Thought Seize them this turn. Shit. Opponent has a hand. Double collected company. So next turn, if we, I think I do this. And they drew oven. They can still shock this and collected company as well. So they have the Coco. I think we forced their... I think I lost this one. Because I can do this. I get the Coco. They just cash it out anyways. But it lets me know main phase what I can sack to Spark Harvest. Um, I can make a token here, which isn't great. I can kill the Woe Strider. Actually, I think what we do is let's start with. No. I think we hope that they don't draw anything great. Try to go wide. The problem is here, like the reason I'm not thought seizing is with tower, they sack this and then they can just get it back. Man, it hasn't been kind to us, but their hand was very good. They have choices here. No devil. Okay, no devil's fine. We can deal with this. So I'm going to do Stitcher as my sack outlet. Oh, they get to draw a card from that. Stitcher can find me more things in the graveyard. I do have this Thoughtsy, so what I'm going to do is Spark Harvest. The priest. They 
just they went from zero cards in hand to a full grip real quick. They have claim. Looks like a claim. Not nah, just devil. Yeah, we lost this. Yikes! 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 Okay, so feed the swarm, push, cling, bring in one of these, the abrades, that. Cut out the pyromancer. I think I want five cards. I kept the thought season last time. I trimmed to, I trimmed the claim, trimmed the spark harvests. Um. I think just get rid of, rid of Pyromancer is good here. And trim probably one Thought Seize. This matchup's close. Like we showed we could win, but the Devil... Like if they get their good draws, they're more likely to be able to steal and sack our stuff. We just need to hope that they don't draw, like, ridiculous. I didn't see if they were on the Gingantha version. I don't think. Um, I think we keep this. Play this tap. I can village rights it if needed. I also have Claim for the Arcanist, which is really nice. So I think we're doing that line. I don't particularly want to shock, do, like deal five damage to myself with my lines. I, I don't know why they would waste that. That seems very loose. Um, am I shocking here? Like I could village rights if needed. I think I'm shocking here. Village rights gets me more gas. Hopefully find another land here. Jeez, we are uh, not finding those lands. We've seen 14 cards and seen two lands. So here I have the push. I have a braid for one of their three drops. Okay, that's actually good. So I think I'm going to... Abrade this. Village rights here. Okay, so Croxa in the yard. I can escape Croxa next turn, which is nice. I could cling to draw a card or to break up a loop. They've already used two claims on us. See, like that turn one claim is really bad on their part. They could have dealt with this Arcanist. They had the tower as well. So here we could potentially interrupt if they have a cat loop. Um, so this is interesting. So 
So I can escape Croxa, but it plays pretty poorly. I want to kind of get this oven off the battlefield. I'm going to do this now just because it's worse with like a mayhem devil. So I can abrade. I can also set up for like a Croxa plus haste turn. I think we're just controlling the board to be honest. So I can take a card out of their hand this turn and then still have a Buried Up. I think I like that. Okay, so they have the Cat in hand. I can escape the Cat. This might just be a braid. They have fatal push. Mm. So I think we're doing this. Doing that. Just passing the turn here. If we draw a land here, I can perfect. Um one, two, three, four, five. Now we want to keep the fatal push. I want to keep the cheaper spells for Arcanist. Brought an Ashiok against us. Seems weird. Okay, got him. Okay, so they have Ashiok. Do I want the Thoughtseize? Gorge is probably okay, like a bit of a liability, but I need ways to close out the game. It's, it's probably the same liability as Croxa. Um, maybe Spark Harvest? Spark Harvest is just bad if we don't have a creature, though. I think we just run it back. It's worked for th three of the five games, or at least my cyborg plan has worked all three of the games thus far. Okay, this hand is kind of crappy. We have no removal. I can village rights on three with Croxa, but that doesn't feel great. I think we maul. Ah, shit. Um, should I kept that other hand? 
Untapped Swamp. Untapped Swamp. Jesus. Ah, uh, the deck hates. I added an extra land as well. Like, come on, man. 40, so 39, 41. Because this is pretty much a dead card at this point. They can eat up my graveyard. Okay, so that gives me a chance. Okay. We asked for untapped swamp. Um, so I can try to get a push. I can thought seize. I think we're thought seizing here. Try to get like a claim or something out of their hand. Company, rider. Okay, so I don't actually care about claim. I think we're getting rid of that. I'm pretty dead, like, regardless at this point. This make means they can hold up mana. This means they have to commit on their turn. Yeah, this one, we lost to the top deck. Oh, well, there's our fatal push. Like, we're just not seeing the lands. Okay, freaking about time. Anything good in my graveyard? So we know they have a claim. They can steal my thing, which isn't great. Hoping to draw some sort of removal. So I think we're gonna see if I can draw some removal. Okay, braid's good. I have a Croxa Stitcher, so I need to do this now. Actually, so Ooze is more of an immediate threat. Woe Strider allows them to break up my thing. I think I need to kill this. This lets them draw a card too. I'm pretty dead at this one. We just never drew. Taking six here. They steal my blocker. Yeah, I can't. I can't win at this point. There's not really like a series of draws here because they have the claim. They're attacking my graveyard now, so it's a little rough. That one was unfortunate because uh, I think game two we played really well, but we just, you can't win if you mull to six and then in your first like 15 cards see one land. All right, one and one. Let me give it a restart, and then we'll fire up another game. How's everyone doing today? We are playing in the Mythic Invitational Qualifier. We are currently 1-1. One one. Played both games against Jun Sacrifice. Nope, sorry about that. Uh... 
Um, just update the record on the stream. Yeah, like that hand was decent. Like that first hand, I don't think we keep. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna have to chop these up anyways for YouTube. Crusader JB and Mr. Pugglesworth and H Henry. Oh, sorry, there's a bunch of follows. It didn't prompt me. I apologize. Thank you all for the follows. Yo, this sounds sick. Stop it! I don't want to play against Arcanist. Er. We got an Uro Gamer. Um, I think we're just taking their thoughtsies. It's decent against Uro. I do think we need to take the Doom Whisper because I, I can't beat that card. Another Uro. There are four cards that I put in a fifth. They can escape Uro. But I think we need to do this. They probably get rid of tail. Oh, they, get, they keep it. No, oh, that's not it. Why is my follower notice not coming up? Okay, so. I'm just gonna put this to hand. Don't want to do this yet. Because, like, if I cast my Lurus, they're able to um, Tails End it. Okay, that's actually decent. Let's me steal their Uro, attack them with it, and then bedevil it. I just don't want to play out the Luris. It's a pretty low sum value. I mean, they're not going to play to the board. We'll just keep attacking them. I think what they're trying to do is set up Uro and... So worst is if they have a land and extinction event. Okay, so that's 10, 11, Xaxes. Yoink. Patience. All right, so this is a Duress, Cling, Soul Guide, um, Noxious Grasp. Probably push. Um, coming out. 
The claims are still decent here. What are we cutting? Arcanist probably gets killed by a lot of things. As does Pyromancer. Knight of Even Legions, at least an odd threat. Could probably cut the Spike Field Hazard. Still like the claim. Blood Chief's Thirst hits like their big creatures. Maybe trim down a push. Spark Harvest is fine. I want the Thought Seizes. Village Rights is fine versus removal. This just like gets hit by Cryocarnarium and Extinction Event. Probably want the Bedevil. Probably just trim Spark Harvest. We have Noxious Grasp. Claim's really good because it also helps me attack through Nisa. I feel like we just want to duress the hell out of their hand. Yeah, this hand's decent. So I think I go Supplier... Oh, no. They are getting Thought Seized. If they Maul, they get Thought Seized. Cool Hand, opponent. Cool Hand. So we're hoping no removal spell withdrawn within these two. Take a Nisa. Um, I think I just want to hit their lines. And this is what you want to do, just absolutely eat away at everything that they have going. Um, so I could claim back here. I actually think I like that because it lets me Croxa next turn. Because even if they kill one of these, okay, they have Yasharn. It's a pretty good top deck. Mm. It's kind of like free chip value. So one, two, three, four. Ah, stupid view. Want to keep a thought season there? Um. Do I want Agadims? Probably not. Uro. Uro gets them back in it. Okay, we can uh, stop drawing lands, would be cool. I 
Hitting Nisa is nice. Okay, so we got village rights. So they need to kind of play out this Uro. I have Stitcher Supplier to help me dig. Um, so I actually think we attack with Arcanist here. And then village writes my own arcanist. Oh wait, I can't because of Yarshin. Damn it. That was dumb. That was dumb. We are drawing a lot of lines. So they can attack with Uro. Just get more cards in my yard. Okay, pushes. Pretty good. So I'm going to do this now in case I get some sort of removal. Knight's actually not bad. So they have to block. So I can potentially get a removal spell for Uro. That gets rid of my blocker for Uro, but I don't really care because I have to kind of keep it back anyways. So they can basically just escape Uro for this turn by sacking the land. Nice. Bullied Sultai. Bullied Sultai. When you out thought seize your opponent, just everything be thought seize. You can't mull that aggressively, I think, against like Arcanist. Let me just give the client a quick reset and we'll fire up the fourth game. I'm just giving client reset so it doesn't crash midway through. Had that issue last time. Just update the channel. Alrighty. We've got in 400 gems. Let's go. Should be 3-0 and if we ever hit a land in that last game again in game two. Or match two. Play 
first. So it could be the mirror. It could be auras. I think we have to mulligan this. Okay, I'll keep this hand. So they mulliganed here. I think I kind of like going knight first and then be able to have both village rights and thoughtsies up on two. Actually, I think we thoughtsies first and then do that as our, okay, so they are auras. So we are gonna take the spirit dancer here. I actually could have taken their land. But I think if we control their creatures, we're in a good spot. They draw one drop. Ah, they drew Thoughtseize. So that other hand with the two claims would have been pretty decent. This matchup should go pretty well for us. Having access to claim and a bunch of removal. That was like the worst draw we could have had. Them top decking thought seats was pretty good. Could I have like one of my like 50 removal spells in my deck, please? No. Why not? Why not, deck? You're gonna make me lose. Now they just refill here. Yeah, they're just going off. The red source. So this becomes a 4-5 with death touch. These fall off, right? I think we try to set it up where we can kill them in one shot. Like, let them go all in on one, claim it, and then try to kill them. It's highly unlikely they'd not be able to get this bigger than the 4-5. Also, this leaves us an out. Just claiming right now doesn't make sense. We need to try to find one of our village rights. So either three village rights or two spark harvests. 10% of our deck deals with it right now. Yeah, see, exactly that. So they're smartly differentiating their threats. They have a savior. Do anything here. Just seeing if the off chance they stupidly do some sort of block here. No. Well, that was a game we just never saw any removal whatsoever. Um, so in this matchup, we want to Braids, Noxious Grass, Feed the Swarm, Push. Um, they can bring in a uh, Soul Guide Lantern, and they sometimes bring in Cage. So I think we're going to trim on a couple Kroxas.
And I think we're just cutting the Thought Seize in this matchup. Just like an all removal on deck matchup. I'll probably trim a claim. They will bring in more removal. This matchup should be easy, but when you draw the wrong half of your deck, Afayalo, thanks for the follow. Appreciate the support. No, that's not what I want. Looks like my follow notification is deleted somehow. I gotta go add that back in. This is a pretty ambitious deck to play in this tournament. Just, I was thinking about playing it, but like as we saw, every deck's been either Sultai or Sack so far. We've also lost like every game one. Other than the Sultai one. Deep. Double removal spell. Oh, keep mulling. Try to find... the. This version of Auras is very strong once it gets going because it has a lot of resiliency. But it only plays 13 creatures. So you end up mulliganing a lot. Because we're on the play, we'll go Stitcher first. Yeah, because then ne next turn I can go Claim and have Fatal push up. Sure. You want the removal or you want the Claim? Um, here, just do this. Let's see what they do here. I might just put Luris to hand. Feed the swarm as well is nice. Um, so they can have two removal spells here. So they know about this, so we'll just shock it in. I think what they're trying to do is set up where they can draw a card, perhaps. So we have push here. If I draw another land, get, well. Okay, so we are gonna win off the back of a 1-1 one, one Stitcher Supplier, 12 turn clock. Luris the hand, sure. Cool deck opponent. I'm gonna get a red source here in case we draw Croxa. This can also just haste something out. Sajiri Shelter. Can I just get like another creature? I'm gonna have to discard removal spells. Flame's also nice. I, I, 
don't know what they're trying to do here. Like if they're looking for a protection spell. Okay, so I hit Croxa. Okay, well, we just need to find a threat. Just do that. Stitcher is out here putting in work. I think I'm going to claim this. They're just kind of leaving themselves to death. Cool. I'll take that. Stitcher Supplier won us this game. All right, I think we maybe want one more threat. I will say, if you have to draw eight removal spells against auras, you're probably in a good spot. That was one of those matches in paper where you just show them your hand and be like, listen, you're not dead yet, but you're going to be dead very soon. So hopefully get this one. Their hand is a little odd. But hopefully we can replicate, go up to 3-1. Come on, opponent. I'll take a claim village rights. Fatal push. Snap keep. I mean, could we have drawn all those? Um, I'm going to use a braid here because a braid gets worse later in the game where these always will kill. We have feed the swarm, so. OK, 
Okay, so we only lose two mana, two life off this. Problem is, like, I don't even have a good Laris threat. Okay, you've used two claims. We're just gonna do this again, opponent. Um, so I can feed the swarm, so that's sorcery. That's something to note. Because I want to be able to instant speed respond if needed. Let's just do this. Village rights is nice. Claim village rights line. Steal whatever they play out and then attack them with it. No. You have duress. So I can village rights my own supplier. Makes my Luris better. I think we're doing that. They can take my land. Let's get rid of that. I have a push in the yard. I can attack in this turn, but it doesn't really do much. I don't have discard right now, and I don't have anything I want to sack. This also lets me use some of my more expensive cards. Next turn, I can just Luris and play out Stitcher Supplier, and then Fatal Push whatever they play. That's kind of annoying. So they have that. I think we're just lurusing, playing out this stitcher. Yeah, they stumbled a bit. Their hand might have been like exactly just like all these Heliod punishments. Okay, they have core. This. That's fine, because what I can do is cast Young Pyromancer. Let's do this now. So kill this. Oof, yeah, that's a good line, Karkaroth. I forgot that text. We can do that next turn. The hidden text. This is usually just like hit ley line. So I can do this, this comes back, they have Hateful as well. 
So I can feed the swarm. This Heliod's punishment, but at this point, I think we just... Because I kind of want removal to kill this, but this lets me do it anyways. That lets me fatal push it. Comes back smaller. Then I can attack with the tokens. So I can go Spark Harvest. Oh no, target this, sack that. They can double block here, but I'll just claim it back or I can cast it with Luris. Seems kind of okay to me. I need to take some damage before the Scourge gets good. Because here I can get out like a Fatal Push. If I need to, I have some bigger stuff. If I draw Village Rights, then I can claim it. I have one Village Rights left. All my claims are milled. Now we have another Shram. Should have Croxa still. Like if we draw a Croxa. Two Croxas left in the yard. Agadeems doesn't do much right now. Ghost forms are getting annoying. Oh, I could claim this and then it would lose the ghost form. You control. So I could claim this, it loses that. Seems decent. Do I have a village rights? So I think this works the way I th I want. Okay, so it loses that. They can double block. I take hateful off the battlefield. 
I just want to get off the ghost form because the next turn I can haste out my arcanist and then kill this Thirty-one. I'm at twenty-seven. It's been a good game. Problem is they've drawn a lot of cards now, and we've gone through over half our deck and haven't seen a Croxa. And all my removal, literally all my removal except some pushes, are in the graveyard. Is annoying. Dread Horde. Then we'll just use the devil since it's the hardest. Yeah, they've drawn a lot of cards this game. They're just like a flying enchantment away from killing us. They can trade with the Shram. It's probably what you want to do. I need to try to find a Croxa. Once they get like a flying enchantment, we're kind of donezos. Still have Agademes right now. It can get back Dread Horde and Stitcher Supplier. If we draw one more land, it could get Luris back as well. It's Knight in here. Still have Blood Chief's Thirst. Their hand is massive. Time's not really an issue here. That's an interesting line. I guess you ghost form on the Luris. And now they have basically unblockable Luris forever. Croxa doesn't really do much with their hand being this large. We'll hold off on the land. I think we lost this. Okay, they waste the spell. They can go all in on this Luris. I'm gonna block with, wow. That is a card. Hey Alex, we uh, kind of drawn the wrong half of our deck. We managed to mill over all our lands, or all our removal. Jeez. Oh, there goes one of our outs. We still haven't hit a Croxa. They have the dog, I think this is over. 22 cards. So we've gone through 38 cards and we've yet to hit a Croxa. Cool math. Cool math. I think we're dead here. I think we are dead. 
Ah, should have had that. Gotta go 5 0 now. I can't believe we lost that. Maybe I'm supposed to keep more Croxes in. But they showed Legion's end. Like, I like overboarding with removal in that matchup. Maybe just keeping it in instead of Scourge. Alright. 2 2. Put up or shut up time. We are going for the turn four Croxa line. Opponent goes first. Salt eye. Not really the best hits there. I think I like doing this this turn. I want to hit like a Nisa. I don't want to give him free value. I guess the line two we could have done, now that I think about it, is just hold this up in case they had Uro. No Uro this turn? Okay, perfect. Because we can spike field their thing in response. They like most likely have a removal spell here. So I think we're just doing this. Okay, so they're a little flooded then. So how Spike Field works is if it dies on the sack, it gets exiled. So I kind of want them to play Uro here. The Devil's another nice one. I think we just take our time. They go Nisa, I have the devil. So take him off double mana. Fatal push would be nice here. So I could claim a Dread Horde. I can claim Croxa, take both cards out of their hand. If they have Extinction Event, then I don't love that line. So I actually think I like this line. So let's go Croxa, take a card out of their hand. Might just want to take both cards out. I'm gonna get rid of an extinction event. Cause like we don't really have good targets anyways for the Dread Horde, so let's just do Croxa here again. Cause if this is a Nisa, then I feel really good. Okay, so Pulse is still decent. 
I want to ideally hit one more line for the spike field as well. But we probably just do Croxa this turn. It's an easy block. So I can Arcanist do that. Or I can go Croxa get this going. This line is worse if they drop Nisa. But then I can instant speed bedevil it. If they have Uro, they can't escape it this turn anyways. Yeah, I think we're just doing Croxa here. Egadeems. Swamp. Dreadhorde claim. Young Pyromancer. Um think I, I still think we want to keep this in hand, because if they okay, if they didn't draw anything this turn, got him. Because the plan is just keeping this for Uro. If you can tag it, then it's pretty good. So duress, push, uh, noxious grasp. Don't freeze on the arena. Cling to dust. Um, coming out. Pyromancer. Spark Harvest. Probably. No, I think I like the claim. I like the knight. Blood Chief's Thirst is still decent. It's probably just Fatal Push. Or you know what? I think I want the Fatal Push and I'll trim of village rights. They don't have too many creatures in this matchup and with them having a lot of removal it can be a dead card more often than not. Um, I think we keep this. We're playing in hard mode. I need a red source. Okay, so I do need Feed the Swarm. And I need... Um, I think we want Scourge. Extinction event, eliminate, brazen borrower. If they get a land, then it punishes us that way. Like if they want a one for one us here. That's pretty shit, not gonna lie. So they can just brazen bounce this. I just wanted to like use, like lose one of these. Cause like this just gives them free value. I don't wanna play extinction event and lose both my threats. If I pump into this, they just bounce it. Ditch a Nisa. 
That feels wrong, unless they have two. Event. Crassus. Um. Take the block. No block. Interesting no block there. Yikes, I cannot beat that. I think we are uh, going to next game. Put them lower, leaves them less to hit me with. They can't name Odd now because then they lose their Doom Whisper. So let's just put out another threat here. Those were all useless cards here. So they're, wow. They are um, playing a little loose. We might be able to sneak it out. Because they can have Brazen Borrower bounce this. I can claim this, or if they have like Uro. That gives them another bounce. Pulse there was good. So just doing that, I want to get some chip damage in against them, try to race them. If they bounce with Brazen Borrower on end step, it's fine. That's really interesting. They are really sandbagging this Brazen Borrower. They could just play it out now. And then that has me dead. Yeah. Second ley line. They play this out. I'm at seven. They got me. Them having Doom Whisper makes it a lot harder. Okay, so we do need these Feed the Swarms. And I do think I want the Spark Harvests. Gonna trim down one Croxa. Question is, do I want the Scourge? Problems with Scourge, it gets bad. They're showing Brazen Borrower. They have a lot of like cheap interaction, so it's not hard for them to kill me with it. Um, I'm gonna get rid of a claim. And I still think I want the Cling to Dust. Seems decent. Maybe trim a claim here. Because, like, they're probably going to try to mill aggressively. MTG Predator, thank you for the follow. Apologies, I missed it. My notification got deleted, and I have to set it up again. Okay, we're going to keep this. We're 
doing this. If we draw another lion, we may... Well, we weren't drawing lions, that was for sure. We also haven't seen a Duress or Thoughtseize in any of these games. I actually don't mind village rights here. Are you kidding me? 15 cards, 2 lands. And there's no lands in there. So we'll probably duress first. Just want to hit lions. Like, two lions in a row would be great. Let's me Croxa duress. Perfect. So I'm doing this first. Not let them know that we have a spell. I'm actually going to Thought Seize over duress in case they have scavenging use. Arrow, Fatal Push, Gargaroth. They have Bazooka Bog. Okay, so if they have Bazooka Bog with how my hand's shaping up, I think we get rid of Gargaroth here. Because they can play Uro and the Bazooka Bog. Their hand was set up perfectly. Because I can duress this turn. Because they're going to go this. And then I feed the swarm it. This game is frustrating at times. So I could claim Uro and then use it to feed this, uh, like, uh, Spark Harvest itself. So we are taking five. They have a lot of life, so they can dump a bunch of cards into their graveyard. Keep one on top. I'd love a village rights. They're basically shaving all the lands off. If they get too aggressive here, they could just die. Like village rights. Okay. Actually, okay with that line. Like, they can push the knight here. They can Uro here. I claim it and Spark Harvest it. I'm hitting them for nine. They only have four cards in the yard. Jesus. Like, the top of their deck has been ridiculous. So I th think I'm going to do this. They can just escape Uro back here. But I need to try to just draw cards here. I need more removal. They smartly set up for two. 
Jesus, and they drew Nisa. God damn it. Like, their draws sometimes this game has just been nuts. I don't think I could win now. They escape a row back. I need claim. Claim puts me to 11. I think I'm drawing lines. Jesus. What a stupid game. All right, two and three.